Hello, hello, hello. This is Dolores and Tony's channel. Um, today I am finishing up dehydrating. I'm from the country, so we used to call it sweet milk, but it's uh, whole milk. So I'm country, so I'm dehydrating sweet milk and it's dry. And now I'm about to put it in my Nutribullet and blend that thing up. So excuse the noise hold on okay so I'm putting it Let's see, said the blind man. There's still some chunks in there, but I do have more to put in. So I'll come back when I'm through blending it up. But do you see how it's powder, baby? Hold on. So this is the milk once I took it out of the um, Nutribullet and you see it's powdered milk. So remember when you're going to the store and you're in search of powdered milk, just grab a gallon of sweet milk, whole milk, whatever, and um, take it home, put it in your dehydrator. And I'm going to show you what it looks like before I um, do all of that. This is not a pretty sight. So what I did was, once I put the milk on the tray, I stir it around to make sure it is thoroughly dried. And if you see these little pieces, they are extremely hard. So I scrape all that off, put it into the Nutribullet, and let it rip. And I scrape it off the pan and dehydrated milk and for preserving it you can either put it in a jar and vacuum seal it or you can put it in a regular storage bag roll it down get all the air out of it and it'll create a vacuum seal and I'm gonna show you how to do that so let me get the bag hold on so I'm pouring the milk on this pad so you can see it better and I'm going to scoop the milk into the plastic bag Everything is sanitized. Let me just pull the rest of it in. The milk so you lay your bag flat lay it flat and as you seal you're pushing that air out you're forcing that air out and I always leave a little space on that end and then I roll it up Then when you come to that end, you just zip it shut. And it creates a vacuum. For those that don't have a vacuum seal, that milk is sealed. 
It doesn't slide around like it would if it wasn't sealed. Let me show you what it would look like if it wasn't sealed properly. You see how the milk slides around? It slides around everywhere. But if we go back and seal it, leave that little opening on that end. Roll that bag up. Forcing the air out. And zip it. And there it is. It's sealed. Put your date on it. Put it in the cabinet. You can put it in a jar if you would like. But it's sealed. Milk. Sweet milk. And I'm about to do uh, some apple fruit roll-ups. So hold on, I'm going to show you that process as well. So I'm just cutting the apple up. And I'm not going to do a lot of them. I'm just going to do uh, a couple of them just to show you how it works. Working it out. So get as much apple as you can off the core. And I say my these cores to uh, make jelly. That's one. I'm going to do one more. Whew, today is a great day. It's election day. Hope you all got out and voted. Tony had another tooth pull, so he's in the bed. Oh, usually he does the cutting for me. And that's enough for right now. Then I put a little honey in there. Hold on. So I'm going to put a spoon of lemon juice in there. And that's to keep the fruit from turning brown. From from my bees, a little honey from my bees, yeah. And this is just to taste, so we'll put a little small amount in there. Look at that! Ooh. Don't want to waste that. And then I'm going to blend it up. So, hold what you got. So, now that I've blended it up, I'm going to get another sheet to put down. Can you see what I see? to the side and put it on my sheet oh that looks so good 
the grandchildren are going to love it. They love fruit roll-ups. But uh, with all the stuff that they have on the market now that's for preserving your food, and why not do it the uh, natural way? And the only thing we put in here was a small amount of honey and a little lemon juice. And you actually can eat it like this if you if you wanted to. And it's another way of eating fresh fruit. Cause oftentimes we buy stuff and it and it goes to waste. But spread it out. Make a thin layer. And we're going to watch that baby roll in the dehydrator. Thin it out. Oh man, it's delicious. It's delicious. Mm. And I don't like real sweet things, so... I'm going to put it on the tray. We're going to thin it out a little bit more. Let me get me a, another spoon. And try to get it as evenly as possible. And this is my first time doing it, so we'll see how long it takes to dehydrate it so we'll put it on there for about five hours and we'll check it in two and a half and that way we can judge to see if it's going to be uh, any longer or not so spread it out as evenly as you can and I wasn't worried about getting all the peel off the apple. And that leaves just a little texture in it. And I think that's good enough. We're going to put this baby in here, and we're going to let her roll. We're going to let her roll. All right. So we're going to start it for, we're going to start it at 1.35. And we're going to put it in here for five hours. Oh, that's seven. Bag it up. Bag it up. Bag it up. Okay. All right, y'all. I'll be back. Enjoy your view. Hold on. 